trying to turn everything into a joke. But I care. I want to use that for something important. I waited a long time for this team up. In my world, you're well regarded. You were an X-Man. Fuck that, you were the X-Man. The Wolverine. He's a hero in my world. You know what? He ain't shit in mine. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. Life is a mystery. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. I hear you call Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. Like you were the X-Man. I am soaking wet right now. This is so silly. This is what I'm talking about. Like Big slow motion action sequence. Who knows if you live or die? Hello. My name is Michael Moy, and I'm here to review Deadpool and Wolverine. Directed by Sean Levy, starring Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman as the iconic roles of Deadpool and Wolverine. The iconic team up that we have been waiting for years, teasing from Ryan, from all the other Deadpool movies he had done. Finally, we see it, and this is the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. It is, it is, so, no, no, no. This is the summer movie of the year. I went and seen this at the Chinese theater in Hollywood Boulevard. Biggest screen I've ever seen in my life, and I gotta tell you, this movie did not disappoint at all. This was one of the best Marvel movies I have seen of late. This was like Spider-Man No Way Home. This was an event. Not to mention, there's a lot of surprises in this movie. Not spoil it. What ends up happening is that Deadpool gets pulled into the this parallel world called the TWA. As you probably would have known from the show Loki, something has happened with the Time Lords, the time has changed, and Deadpool has the opportunity to join the sacred land, the sacred world of where all the Avengers are, like Spider-Man, Iron Man, even though half of these characters are not alive anymore, he could possibly join this world. But in the process, his own world will be destroyed. He does not want that to happen because he loves his friends and he loves his they're like family to him and he doesn't want them to die. He doesn't want that world to die. They say that the reason why this world went to shit was because of a certain person. And Deadpool decides, well, I'm gonna go find this person and try and use this person as a way to stop my world from dying. There is something that happens that alters the story and changes everything. I'm not going to get into the spoilers, but you have to watch it for yourself to know what I'm talking about. This movie did not disappoint one bit. Ryan Reynolds has such, he was born for Deadpool. He has that chemistry. He has that light. You can just tell he ad libs and he just, he knows this character inside and out. He knows it so well. Hugh Jackman, I mean, he just gets better and better every time he plays Wolverine. Probably the first time he ever played Wolverine, he was just getting started playing that character and that was probably his weakest performance and it was still a really good performance. But as he kept going with Wolverine, he just, he looks better every time. And the more he gets older, the more he looks like Wolverine. Doesn't anyone, isn't that weird? The older he gets, the more he looks and the better he looks as Wolverine. It's weird. Man, he's still jacked. He is still jacked. Oh my God. You wonder how many steaks he eats, how many chicken breasts he eats, how much he works out. You want to know how much effort he puts in to 
get that muscle mass. How can I say, is this movie bad? No, it's not. It is really good. This is, Marvel needed this. Marvel has had so many hits and misses recently. They needed a good film and Deadpool definitely, Deadpool and Wolverine definitely was good, but they need to continue this streak. They need to continue to streak. Is there anything I can fault this movie? There are times where it gets a little bit confusing where Deadpool will be in one universe and he'll be in another. And it's like, okay, so he's in this universe now. He's not in his own universe, he's in a different universe. We kind of go back and forth. There is explanations for it, but there are times where, even at the start, where he pops into a different universe and you're like, oh, okay. And now he's in a different universe and now he's back to his own universe. It just, it, get, it was a little bit convoluted, a little bit confusing, but that's just me being nitpicky. But other than that, this movie is incredibly fun, worthy, a great time. I, you need to watch it yourself. 9.5 out of 10. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Want to do some cocaine? Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching ballet? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupted? Even forest bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes!